Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. My name is Tom Norris and today I'm going to focus on title blocks and why it's important to make the time and effort to create smart looking title blocks for your drawings. So if you're interested in joining me whilst I create a nice new title block for my drawings then let's get started. Okay, here's the uh, CAD block in, or the title block in question. What we're going to do today is to reproduce one similar size, similar content. But just go through the process of creating it so that you know exactly what it is you need to do to create your own title block. Um, I'm always amazed at the number of times I get plans from other designers with the worst looking title block you can imagine. Um, great designers, great architects, but uh, just something they've overlooked. And uh, I, I, I created this one about three or four years ago, and uh, I, I would imagine I created it in a bit of a hurry, so it's just slung in there, but it's been highly effective. But I think we can do better, fine tune it, get it a little bit more accurate, and I'm certainly better at TurboCAD or AutoCAD than I was uh, three or four years back, so we should be able to make it neater. Um, yeah, what the thing to remember is that once you create a title block, it's got to be on every drawing you produce. So it's really well worth taking a little time to make sure it enhances every drawing you produce. So, okay, let's get on with it. So we're going to make a, let's make a frame first. For that, we get a title box or get a box here. So right now I'm thinking about sections um, and also the notes. I'm thinking again that perhaps the notes should be uh, separate because um, I don't always use them. So if I start out with a box, perhaps um, if I start out with a smaller box to about there and then section it. Uh, and again, uh, what I'd like to do, I suppose, is to uh, section it properly, meaning uh, equal. Uh, three three sections um, so I'm going to do a little check here what have we got um, two, four, two. so yeah I'm going to go uh, equal so uh, let's see how we do it get a few lines in Sorry, sometimes uh, I'll be thinking to myself and uh, you may not realize what I'm doing for a few seconds, but uh, in the interest of getting on with it, I just do, occasionally I do that. Right, so we're doing two lines and what I wanted to do was to make sure we've got uh, three boxes of equal proportion rather than uh, haphazard. Right, so if we drag this down, that's our draw plans, draw plans logo. Uh, that was created uh, only about four months ago. We upgraded. The uh, thing, thing is, you you kind of you, you gotta continually upgrade. That, that, that's the reality. Um, right. So we'll get the logo correct. Uh, checking we're all right there. Got what we want. Yeah. Now, so uh, here, client details plus. Uh, property details that's very very important so for that let's do a dividing line and don't need to redo everything so uh, I want that up there in a small gray let's see what the font is um, yeah, so it's always very important to choose your font. Uh, choose the font you like for yourself. Uh, I'm going with Sigo U Light, U1 Light, or UI Light. I'm not quite sure which it is, but we always go with the light version uh, for the text on our drawings. Um, and this one is in, what is it, light gray. Uh, so if I take this down as a client, looking fine, and then Let's keep this all lined up nice and neat. So draw a few lines here. Okay, that's fine. Now, 
property details. So if I bring the property details down here again, nicely lined up. And yeah, I'm given too much space up here, so that should be a little bit less. Would you say? Yeah, I think that would work. Come on, snap for me. There we go. So now Mr. Parker gets moved up. So client details and property details gets moved up. So give a basically given priority to the address, uh, which is going to be three or four lines long. I think that looks fine. You're probably screaming, I missed something. No, no, you need to do that. Uh, so what do you think? Have I given too much space to the address? Not enough for the client? Possibly. Let's see if we can move it, squeeze it down just a touch. That's looking neat. That's actually looking neater. Now, so we want drawing numbers. Drawing numbers are important. Um, uh, we got plan details, so on and so forth. Right, do we need this much space? Don't need it there, so maybe I'm wasting uh, space. Probably am. Right, um, I think I am, in fact, yeah. So let's bring it down to the same length as the last one, more or less. Um, are we looking here? Looking a little tight, looking fine really. Um, right, so designer and date. So this one I will do, I will absolutely do by half. And we're going to pop that down. We're going to divide. Um, the thing about TurboCAD is you can do the same thing over and over in different ways. All of the CAD files are like that. All of the CAD programs are like that. AutoCAD, TurboCAD, FreeCAD, etc. Um, so you might see me doing things and you might think, oh Christ, um, that, that looks odd what I'm doing. But it's these are just habits you develop. And some of them are good, some of them are not. But either way, um, that's, that's how I deal with it. Um, so if we take plan details, just check it's all the same font, yes. Take proposed details. Ah, so you know that we can uh, existing and proposed. So if I move layouts down. So you know if you want to change the properties within any of these text boxes, just double click. Uh, and that'll bring up, so you can change the text, the color, the font size, uh, font type, and so on and so forth. Uh, of course, if you are smart, you can also change some of the elements here in this properties box. Not all of them, but you do have uh, a degree of uh, uh, customization from this rather than double clicking and going in. Right, so if I go existing and propose layouts, and that's fine. Now we need drawing number, scale, and reference. Um, boom, boom, boom. So I can see that we have three here. So this is not right. So perhaps um, I'm going to put this up again. Let's see how this would look. Make this um, one line again. Plan details. Uh, bup, bup. Let's just see if we're lining up here. That's about right. That's looking fine. Now we do a drawing number. So 
for this. I gotta do a little line here. Things are snapping when you don't want them to snap. Sometimes you've got to turn off snaps to get what you want with ease. I'm going to turn off snaps and you'll see that I can draw the line exactly where I want because it's not trying to snap anywhere. Uh, he's trying to snap again. Right, give up. Reference would be internal for us, um, as in the client, in client reference, and uh, scale. That's pretty obvious. We need to scale for every drawing we create. Um, so scale is there. To bring these over a little, and put a reference in it. So the idea of putting a reference here is that uh, when we get a new project, we uh, put a, we just update a reference, but at least we have a reference there. All we do is double click and switch the reference number to, that's it. But it's already in the space and it's already got the right font and the right size and so on. So that's why we keep a, a dud one basically, a dud one in there. Um, right now, not entirely happy with it. Um, why haven't we done? Yeah, silly old me. I haven't, um, I've gone, I've been a bit greedy because I haven't done these two. I've got two more here, designer and date. So we'll put this one back now. And we go designer and date. Let's see. So let's try and get it lined up a little. Turn off the scale. Turn off snaps for a minute. And Yeah, so uh, this is something you should do and enjoy, uh, fool around with it. This one we're right on the bar. Yeah, you fool around with it and you create it and uh, just see how it goes for you. So, uh, May, that works and that's me. So again, uh, I want to uh, Line it up. So I've got a guideline fitted in. So it's similar to the other one. And down just a touch. And over just a touch. Just now back a little. Right, now. So how do we do this? We put that back in, oh, turn my snaps on, very useful, otherwise we'll be here all day, just doing getting one snap in. Now, so the question is now, is, um, is the outline for the boxes? So I'm happy with everything else, but the outline for the boxes, let's see what we can do with that. So it says dim gray. Um, I'd like to do a much lighter grey, so I'm going to create something new. Uh, add. Okay, so now 
Um, I'm not using the standard colors, am I? I'm using this one. Just checked it there. Yeah, 224. 224. Um, that's my new text box. Uh, that's my new architect title block, which works now on notes. The thing about notes is um, <laughs> they're kind of important because um, you need to kind of safeguard yourself so you don't get sued. Well, they usually it usually helps if you have something. Uh, because if you do make a mistake and people build something that they shouldn't build because your drawing isn't uh, entirely accurate or they end up you know drawing something you done when you what something you wrote in for building regs and building control says no you can't have that uh, then they might come back like I've had one client where we did um, um, foundations uh, normal trench foundations for an extension and in fact the uh, building control uh, knew, knew more about the actual uh, site and uh, insisted on pile foundations so of course uh, you know the, the sad thing about that particular project is that the client had in fact got the builders in to dig trench foundations uh, without uh, putting in a building notice and without um, getting anything agreed with building control. Uh, so that was done at his risk and of course when it went sour then of course uh, the client is coming back to us and he's, <laughs> they've ignored that little statement that says here uh, any, any work, all building work subject to building control approval. And that's our get out of jail free card. Now what I want to do is reduce the size of this font. Uh, and how do we do that? So it's 195, let's do 160, 160. And that's a little bit less, so let's do 140, 140. Uh, getting smaller. Uh, if it's getting smaller, it's just shrinking that way, but it doesn't necessarily. Uh, shrink upwards. Okay. Let's just pull that in just a touch. Up a line down there. Um, now, by putting this box separate, it means we can take it out as we see fit. Uh, we're on the 224. 224. Right, um, we've got ourselves abandoned the old one. And we got ourselves a nice new uh, architect title block. So I'm happy with the wording here because I've checked through it and I suggest you perhaps um, find a drawing with and some notes on it and put in your own bits and pieces there. Right. Um, that's effectively everything you would need and you have a, an optional of putting a drawing number in there if for example you do existing and proposed layouts but you have to do revisions you go revision one revision two etc so um, that tells everything we need to know and lots of space here so what that's telling me is that I could shrink down a little and perhaps I will because uh, space is a bit of a premium on the uh, on the architect page so let's see what that distance is here um, on the on the on the sheet I meant. Um, right, two nine. So we could do it this way. I didn't want to just grab all of it and compress it because it will compress the other elements as well. Now, if 
fold these over, pull them over gently. There we go, that's good enough for me. Um, absolutely good enough for me, so I'm happy with that. Um, or almost. Um, I would like to bring that in just a touch. It's also important that it lines up, so uh, let's just make sure it does line up. So, what do you think? Is it lining up? lining up. Get rid of that. Um, so these are the three elements that are on almost all of our plans. We've got a scale bar here and we've got a north point. So when we create layouts and uh, elevations we generally uh, make sure we have a north point. So this is a template page. So because it's a template page uh, we start off uh, basically an empty drawing with uh, the scale bar, standard scale bar, 1 in 100, and um, the north point, and then we adjust accordingly. Um, we're doing another lesson shortly on uh, the scale bar, very simple little lesson, but uh, again, um, just a, a way of showing you, and sometimes it's nice to be shown, and then you can fly off and... Uh, uh, have a go yourself um, and that's the beauty of these little short tutorials okay so now you know how to create a title block and what the elements are should be for mo most of these title blocks so uh, go and create your own and enjoy doing so thank you for tuning in and uh, watching this video see you on the next one